Kawhi, the fun guy. Are you having fun, or is this all business? Um, no, nah, basketball is fun, you know. Um, you know, you grasp it as a little kid, and you end up taking an entrance in it, and, you know, just been, you know, having fun with friends and family the whole time, and now I'm in the NBA. Lowry to Leonard, left hand and slam! Over to Kubo! And the building can feel it! What was it like a year ago? Where, where were you a year ago? Were you watching the NBA Finals? Mm -hmm. And then a year later, here you would be with another team, another country, and yet another NBA Finals. Oh, I mean, no, I mean, you, you think about getting here, obviously putting yourself in a situation when you're watching. But, uh, you know, last year, just rehabbing, uh, focusing on myself, trying to get better. And, uh, you know, that, that was pretty much it. And, just take it day by day, just trying to, you know, attack each day, seeing how I'm feeling. Uh, am, am I getting better or not? And like, like, like I said, taking it day by day, now I'm here. 24 seasons in the making. The Toronto Raptors are headed to their first NBA Finals. We know it hasn't been easy. It's been a roller coaster. We occasionally see you limping out there. I have a feeling though, if they cut your leg off, you'd still play, but what has it been like? Has it been tough? I mean, yeah, but I feel like pretty much everybody's hurting, you know, some people with more than others, but it's about, you know, possibly six games left. So, I mean, and we're in the finals, so you just gotta try to dig it out and keep going from there. Kawhi, you've added new terms to our English language this year in load management. The fact that you've been able to rest and recover and get ready for the games you need to play, thanks to Director of Sports Science Alex McKechnie and Scott McCullough and his training staff. Have you been pleased with that? And has there ever been a time that maybe you thought you wouldn't be able to play? Um, no, I mean, I never thought that. Um, I didn't feel like uh, the injury was, you know, a career in an injury. It was just uh, going to take time for my certain ligament to heal, tendon to heal, it takes a long time. So I never thought I wasn't going to be able to play. And obviously, uh, you know, thinking back, uh, you know, told myself that, um, you know, don't want to risk anything and I'd rather, uh, you know, come back 100% healthy than, uh, you know, try to come out and hurt myself again. Uh, just been through that roller coaster before. But, um, you know, with the load management stuff, uh, you know, just coming into the season, said it a million times, uh, you know, I still wasn't, you know, to where I needed to be with my right knee. And, uh, you know, they, they seen what I was feeling, took our time, laid out the schedule. Uh, on treatment days, rehab days, I could do throughout the season. And, you know, this is why I'm able to play now. I feel like, or we felt like, uh, you know, if I played that whole season, I probably wouldn't even be playing right now. The Atkins sets the screen. Here's Kawhi. Oh! The monster slam by Kawhi Leonard. Get it out of the way. I don't know how much attention you pay to us guys, the media, or Twitter, or social media or whatever, but there were a, a lot of analysts and commentators and experts who did not pick the Raptors, quite frankly, in a lot of the series or on occasions or games. What do you say to those critics now? People are going to think uh, certain ways. I'm pretty sure it was positive energy for us as well. People think we're going to get here. Um, I mean, I pretty much don't have nothing to say to them. Um, we're still on the road and I mean, the story isn't written yet. We're still focused on you know, the next upcoming games. People always talk about the difference between the regular season and the NBA playoffs and the early rounds and the NBA finals. You've been here before, you know what it takes. How different is it? It just comes to, you know, um, like any other series, but uh, you know, we're, we're the last two teams standing and it's, it's like if you have the energy or, uh, you know, focus to keep going, like basically saying who, who wants it more. Um, because a lot of things come into factor, um, people being injured, uh, you hurting on the floor. So it's just, it just really like a mental toughness out there at this point, just being real, real mental. So what did you think about the atmosphere before game one? I think you've grown accustomed to the way that this city loves 
this team and this game and obviously loves you. Uh, what did you think about the atmosphere before game one? I mean, it's great. You I mean, you know, they say he's excited. They were excited after we, uh, you know, won the Eastern Finals and, it, you know, it was carried over into the finals. But the, you know, 20 plus that's in the arena to probably 20, 30 plus that's outside. So, you know, all that positive energy helps and, you know, you're, you're able to feel that as a player. And, you know, like I said, it's mental toughness. So right now you just got to keep going and that energy helps. Welcome world to Toronto, to Ontario, to Canada. For the first time ever, the NBA Finals is outside of the United States. And in that game one, you started early, you had control most of the game, you got contributions from other people, but you got smothered a lot. Do you see more of that in game two? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's pretty much been happening the whole playoffs. Uh... You know, but like I said, uh, it's a team effort to get the, to get to this point and to even get further. One player can't do it. Two guys can't do it. It's, it's the whole five that's out there on the floor at that time and your bench, uh, whoever's on the bench supporting and giving feedback. So, I mean, it's a team game, team basketball, and, you know, I'm just enjoying, enjoying the moment and just having fun. You know, I, like you said, I've been here before. Uh, I felt like I didn't really get a chance to really enjoy it, so um, now I'm just enjoying it, win, lose, or draw. The Toronto Raptors take game one of the NBA Finals. Are you a guy who checks boxes for great moments? You've had so many already here, from the shot to the dunk to the wins. Are you a guy who cherishes those moments, or are you a guy who lives in the moment? Uh, I try to stay in the moment uh, as of right now, you know. Uh, I'm not looking back on too much anything. I'm just, you know, looking ahead and seeing what's in front of me from here. Because I'm still playing basketball. I'm still 27. Um, even after this series, I'm going to be playing another NBA season and another one after that. So it's about, for me, living in the moment and, you know, just enjoying what's in front of me. And once it's done, then I'm able to look back and, you know, reminisce. Looks at the clock, turns the corner for the win! How many times a day do you get asked? I know we get asked all the time about your future, um, but you know, it's obvious everybody loves you here. But how many times do you get asked? Is it, do you ever get tired of it? Um, it happened a lot early on, but it, I, would, I would say as of late, you know, um, you know, no one's really talked about it or uh, been asked many questions. It's, it's, it's so much in front of us right now. Finally, can this team win the NBA title? Of course, I mean, you got to believe it to be able to win, so I feel like we can.